Hello, today we're being joined by Lily Zhao, director of NEO, a global development. NEO Ecosystem Growth. Now, for those that haven't heard of NEO just yet, it is an open source community driven blockchain platform. Hello, Lily, nice to see you. So, Metaverse has been a hot topic lately, ever since the rebranding from Facebook to Meta, and of course the acquisition of Blizzard Activision of Microsoft with $69 billion and other big tech giants out there, uh, also betting on this NASA and technology. So, what is Metaverse exactly? To me, Metaverse is a virtual word for human interactions and value exchanges powered by XR, extended reality, and the blockchain technology. The latter is very important because that's where the distinction between the virtual world and the metaverse lies. So basically, the difference is in ownership. Who owns the asset? Who owns the playground? In Metaverse, digital assets are powered by open source blockchain protocols such as Ethereum or NEO. These assets live on the blockchain independent of any proprietary platforms, so they can be freely traded across different playgrounds and marketplaces. So the ownership of digital assets gives the power to players and that levels the playing field between users and platforms. Okay, so how is the NEO blockchain positioned for the metaverse? The concept of the metaverse is still new, but one thing is for certain. There will be a huge amount of data generated in the metaverse, and that data needs to be stored on a distributed file storage. Another crucial thing in the metaverse is to protect people's ownership of their digital assets. And that's where digital identity comes into play. NEO's all-in-one development platform has nine features, including distributed file storage and digital identity. In fact, I see Metaverse as a manifestation of NEO's vision for a smart economy, which consists of digital identity, digital assets, and smart contracts. So if anyone wants to build a metaverse, build a NEO. What makes metaverse interesting to you? And would you like to live in a metaverse? For anyone who has a curious mind, it's hard to resist the temptation to live in a metaverse where anything is possible with a click of a button. However, the appeal of a metaverse to me is not about getting lost in, uh, in a virtual world, rather how it connects and enhances the real world experiences. In Metaverse, we don't have the time, space or resource constraints as in the real world. So we can unwind or relive certain real life events or experiences. So perhaps we can indeed live our life twice or multiple times. Thank you for joining us, Lily, and for your thoughts on Metaverse. Until next time, goodbye.